Hello there everybody, TechnoJock here, and I'm back today with something a little bit different. This is Warhammer 40,000 Inquisitor Martyr. It's not long out on early access, and being a big fan of the Warhammer 40,000 universe, I thought I would give it a go. I play the tabletop game, I've got two, two armies, and I'm starting another army at the moment, so um, yeah, I've been involved with that since... Ooh, I don't even care to think. Some of you weren't even around back then. But um, yeah, haven't played this yet. Let's have a quick go of this. So we've got three options, but one of them, Psyker, doesn't appear to be available. We've got Assassins and Crusaders. Assassins sound stealth type. Oh, we've got. Ah, right, okay, we've got other options here. Right. So, yeah, stealth stuff. So we've got Infiltrator, Sniper, Eradicator. What happens if I click on one? Ah, right, okay, so we get to see what they're like. Do we get to turn the model? Do we get to... No, we don't. Okay. Um. So, Infiltrator. Death Cult Blades and Assassin Power Sword. That sounds very good. Stealth Bodysuit as well sounds pretty cool. Chameleon-like. Can kind of go invisible. Uh-huh. Yeah. So what does Sniper do? Um, looks like a big sniper rifle. And auto pistol. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sounds quite cool. Capable backup or close range work. Um, again, hollow sort of thing. What do the Crusader... Well, let's check out the Eradicator as well. Just for the sake of completeness. So, shotgun and sniper rifle. This one gets a sniper rifle and auto pistol. Okay, and this one's got distortion armor. Can go at incredible speed and has a refractor field. Okay, and let's have a look. Let's have a look at the Crusaders. Oh, these guys are beefy. So, what's that? The heavy, heavy weapons one, is it? Yeah. Heavy weapon specialist with more potent weapons. Ooh, that does sound good. Shotgun and las gun and demolition arbor sounds quite cool. And um, the juggernaut. Oh, oh, that looks cool. That looks very cool. So what we've got: chain sword, great sword, and suppression shield. Okay. Right, sounds good. Sounds good. And assault armor. Oh, jump pack. Yeah, okay, well, let's just have a look at the assault gunner. See what he's got. Right, okay. He looks like he's wearing a duster coat and he's got two pistols. So, okay. Yeah, that sounds okay. That's too cool not to take. Right, let's go for that. And there we go. If it let us. It lets us. Excellent. Let's play. Loading, loading, loading. I like the little... I uh, don't know if you guys can actually see it. The mouse pointer is a little skull with a um, little blue light going round and round it. It's kind of cool. And here we are. Um, okay, so we click to move. And it all looks good. Um, we can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. Um, how do we turn? Oh, oh, we can turn the camera with those keys. Cool. Okay. And oh, we can we can also move with the cursors. Okay. Oh, well, that's okay. That's interesting enough. What else have we got here? We've got a store where I presume we can buy and sell stuff. Oh yeah, we've got last pistols, auto pistols. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's cool. We're gonna stick with what we've got at the moment though. Crafting Let's just take a quick look. Yeah, okay. I uh, don't have anything to build craft with. Um got storage. I'm assuming we don't have anything in there at the moment. Nope. Oh, his face. Oh. 
Um, we've got inoculator. Okay, right, okay, we've got our health pack thing. Coagulant absorbent stem. Okay, cool. Um, Co-op multiplay and PvP. Okay, we're not going to do anything with that. Let's just take a look at the star map and see how we go. Very cool. So, one of my friends has already bought this and has advised me to be very careful about which missions I pick. It looks like we've just got these available to us at the moment. And what we've got here. So, these ones in red are difficult. And the yellow one is not so difficult. Green would, I presume, be fairly easy. So, let's click on that and say travel. Swirly. Cool. I like these graphics, they're nice. So this is the Chernobog system. Five planets. And if we have a look at this. Alright, okay, so we just go there. Can we come up with that? So these ones are gonna be far too difficult, I suspect, so I'm not gonna bother going there. Let's just go to the, the easier of them, because it seems to be the only one that's really within our grasp. We've got the Charkov, Planet Charkov, Cadian 2, Desolation Sigma, Port Aria, and it did say there was five, didn't it? So there's probably this world is yet to open up or something. We've maybe got to do some, you know, some missions in other areas before that becomes available to us. So we've got placeholders, things and stuff. What's all this? I don't know quite. No. Oh, this is the the world um, goals, I think. So we've got lots of cool stuff. We've got placeholder there, travel to next mission. I don't know what that's all about. Let's have a look at these. So we've got lots of icons. We've got similar icons over some of them. And we've got green and yellow icons. So looking at that, we've got a green, a yellow, a green, and a yellow. So we've got green, yellow, green, yellow. So I think those icons relate to what we've got. So we've got Demonic Incursion, Nurgle, Demons, 81. That's a green mission, so that's relatively easy for us. Cool. Um, don't know what a priority assignment is as opposed to being a mission. Let's have a look at this. That's another Demonic Incursion. These are more difficult. These are all yellow. So yeah, the line does seem to designate the difficulty. And that was a demonic incursion. That's a demonic incursion. So that, that oh yeah, that oh, it's the eight-pointed star of chaos. That's what it is. So stolen relics must be this little diamond thing. And we don't have any more diamond things. But if I go here and the second mission is a demonic incursion, which it is. I have broken their code. So we've got this thing here is a little skull with a crown on it. A hunt. A skull without a crown on it. Assassination. What's the... That's a Nurgle sign. And there it is. It's a Nurgle infestation. Ooh, and we've got the premium mission. Cool, cool, cool. We're going to do that one then. Exterminate all enemies. Type purge and placeholder story. Oh well, yeah. We're gonna get a bit of that, I think. Cool. Let's go and start the mission. Requesting server. Nope. Maim the heretic. Slay the treacherous Xenos. Banish the fork-tongued demon spawn. Okay. Cool. Fine, fine. So, yeah, we can run around with our thing. Let's see. So we've got our primary weapon attack. Eviscerate. 
Continuous effect by holding the attack button. Okay, cool. Cool down one second. Scything strike. Cone effect wide. 120 degrees wide, 3 meters long. Okay, so that's a sort of an area effect out in front of me. And I presume that 120 degrees is denoted by those little blue dots just in front of me. I'm also thinking that shield probably is protecting me from that as well. Um, we've got a skill block. Shield mounted defensive shield greatly reduces frontal damage for a split second. Costs 5 focus per use and has a 3 second cooldown. Okay. And then we've got a discharge. Ooh, that sounds unpleasant. Oh, it does 80 damage and 11 damage per second. So it works for 8 seconds, clearly. Um, knock back and knock down effect. Cool. That sounds very handy. Um, refractor shield. Okay, we've got a shield. 20 damage reduction for 30 seconds. Restores suppression resist. Um, yeah, cool. And then we've got our... Uh, oh, we've got our jump pack thing. Oh, it uses 30 focus. 5 second cooldown. And this knocks people back and down as well. Cool. Alright, okay. So we've got the 1 to 4 keys, basically. We're looking for that. Um, that is our heal pack thing. We've got health in the middle there that looks like boiling blood. And we've got suppression resistance. I'm not entirely sure what suppression resistance means, but let's give this a go, shall we? So, let's see. Doesn't look very pleasant around here. Oh, there's a person up there. Uh oh, there's people getting shot. There's a lot of people getting shot. There's stuff and things going on up there. Let's use our jump pack to go jumping straight in there and then maybe run away and see what happens. Run away! Oh, there's lots of them. But that was quite effective. That was quite effective. And we lost some of our suppression resistance. So let's try that again. Let's try some of our special effects. Let's use our secondary attack for the... Our primary attack for that one. So really, secondary attack when there's lots of enemies in front of you. Primary attack for when there's just one. Which is turning out to be quite effective, I have to say. So I lost a little bit of health which is regening, and I've gone lost a little bit of suppression resistance, which is regening. Ooh, I've used a lot of my focus. I'm down to like half my focus. So that doesn't seem to recharge very quickly. What is it? One point every couple of seconds, really. Okay, so we can't really use the jump pack a huge amount. Okay. And ooh, that's a big dude. Bulgrin. Okay. Um, and he's got a couple of friends with him. Okay. Let's maybe go this way for a start and see what is what round here. Oh, there's a huge number of people there as well. Let's see. Let's jump in there. And well then. Let it rain. Oh my word, there's a lot of squiddy things, squiddy things. Kill streak, cool, cool. Come on, get out of there. There's a lot of unpleasantness going around. Although we are doing quite well. And that's cool. Took care of them. Maybe use another. Jump back in. Eerie effect thing. And. That was effective, I've got to say. Still got rebel guardsmen. Ooh, Psyker Summoners. I think that was who brought those squid type things before, so I want to jump in there, but I ooh, that's not available to me. I've only got thirty. Oh it's just it's just become available. Cool. It takes thirty to be able to use the jump pack thing. And it's just there. Cool. Let's do this. I picked 
something up there as well. Wait until the jump back's recharged a little bit. What's this? Switch weapons. Oh, that's our different weapon. Ooh. So that is slash. That's uh, vulnerability, physical 10%, physical damage for 5 seconds. That's nasty. And whirling attack. 360 degree attack damage for 5 seconds. Well, this could be fun. Let's try this attack then. Let's jump in. Chop, chop that. Okay, we're going to change that. Oops, wasn't really paying attention. Ooh, I just picked up something else. A Mars Great Sword I just got. Cool. This seems to be quick. What does this one do? Cone effect wide. So that's another area effect, basically. Okay. Ogryn Gunner. Let's uh, jump in and then. Take out the small guys. Wow, this is taking care of him, no bother. Oh my word, it's getting a bit busy here though. Let's uh, fall back a little bit. Fall back a little bit and then jump pack back in. We don't have jump pack available to us, but we do have a big core. Watch my health, but. I think I might like the double handed sword a bit better than. The chain sword and uh, shield combo. Nothing else left. What was this? Oh, press F to interact. <laughs> so if I'd been stood in front of this, they'd probably have killed me with it, or at least attempted to attack me with it. Let's rebel tarantula auto cannon. Let's just chop it up. We don't want to leave this sort of technology sitting for the rebels to use. And that's it. It is taken care of. Nothing else sitting for us to do. What's that? Nothing? No? Okay. Nothing else in here. Okay. Let's continue on our merry way. What's that? Teleport beacon. Is this... Another teleport beacon. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't notice the servo skull thing. Should have chopped it up. Oh well. They've been teleported in then. Let's go and uh, take care of them then, I suppose. Sword. Uh, well, that was effective. Let's take care of the teleport beacons before anything else makes its unwelcome appearance. And these ones. Enemies left. It looks like we're about halfway done. So let's see what this direction is leaves us with. We've got Rebel Heavy Gunner. Well, you are about to have a whole world of pain. And that worked. And this guy... Oh my 
word. What on earth is going on there? Uh, I can't see what's going on. was all she wrote from these guys storage box oh that's got a big beam on it as if it's suggestive that there's goodies in there oh oh that's not goodies that's definitely not goodies <laughs> that's a booby trap thing so we've got a champion of in the form of three tarantulas I'm going to move back to my shield thing I'm going to move in like this using the jump pack, and then, and then I'm going to move over this direction, so the shields towards them, so, oh my word, oh, 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 overwhelm, I think I'm not wrong, but that's suppression, I didn't lose an awful lot of health, but he's nearly dead. Once my suppression's back up, which I think goes back up quicker if I'm in cover. Yeah, well, that's definitely true. Yeah, so let's try that again. Oh, and I should maybe use my shield thing. So let's jump back in, use a shield. Use my shield. And use that. And then... Keep using... I'm not using an awful lot of suppression. And that was wasteful. And I'm using my special shieldy thing. Okay, so being overwhelmed is not that bad. I found them. They were hiding in plain sight. So, let's just get in amongst them, I think. I've moved back to my chainsword. Just for no other reason than I was destroying stuff. And, uh, let's go like that. Oh, oh, oh. I'm seeing a sentinel, which is just not, not any fun. You're just not playing by the rules there, dudes. Just not playing. You are no Astartes, but you can certainly fight it. That's, uh... Can I switch to my other sword? Not whilst I'm in mid attack. Come on. Oh, there we go. Cool. I am suppressed, but I am still chopping. I should maybe turn on one of my shields. That would help. on chopping and using my special chop as well whenever it's off cooldown. I'm not even suppressed anymore. This guy's toast. Definitely the great sword is. <laughs> great sword is definitely the weapon of choice in that situation. Their demise is your salvation, Inquisitor. Oh cool, I got a I got a cool amount of stuff. Still got some guys that are left to kill though. Yeah, there is. And... Off with, oh, with your head. The one that's got a sword you bigger than you. The Emperor well, Inquisitor. Excellent. I have completed the mission.
and okie dokie so um, let's click on this oh wow we've gone up to rank points two okay we've got that's our chainsword and greatsword combo so our rewards do we get all of these yeah, looks like we've got all of these rewards that we've been given. Have we? Um, demolition armor, 12 damage reduction. Cool. Um, master crafted power armor, that seems alright. I don't know what we've got. A new shield, that looks good. A neural implant. An eye implant. And a main implant. Cool. Neat. Reach the next level. Those who seek perfection. They... Oh. Ooh. What's this then? We've got a grand reward of a power, a power axe. Ooh, nice. That seems pretty good. Cool. So here we are back at base then. So we've got character on us. So we've got that one point that we can spend in any of our attributes. What have we got in our attributes? Melee and range damage bonus. We could put into that. Okay. I think these little chevrons here indicate the each level. So as it goes past that chevron, I think that's when we get demolition, which is a plus 25% damage bonus versus cover. Didn't seem that great, but um, each of the ones after that are increasingly good. Cool toughness, hemophagia, plus ten percent healing bonus upon in inoculator activation. Well, we didn't you did we use the inoculator? Maybe once. Rejuvenation, that's pretty good. Once we get to that point, heat resist bonus, mm -hmm. fortitude. What's this one? Plus 10 bonus to warp resist. Cool. And virtue. Oh, right, okay, there's other things. So toughness is plus 100%. Nah. So virtue is plus 2 focus and plus 1% suppression damage bonus. Well, that sounds pretty good. If we can add to that. Yeah, plus 4 focus and plus 2% suppression damage bonus. Excellent. That sounds good. Um, inventory. These are our things. We've got our power axe. Okay, power axe is 55 damage, 2 deflect. Our currently equipped chainsword is 48 damage, 1 deflect. So that power axe would be better. Um, we've got our great sword. This is our normal great sword. I think that's the one that we've been using. Right, there we go. That's allowing us to inspect an equipped item. So that's the great sword that we can switch to. That chain sword is rubbish in comparison. Last pistol. Um, I don't think we want pistols, do we? We're sticking with this. Oh, we've got a new suppression shield as well. 53 damage, 9 deflect. Oh yeah, we definitely want to right click to equip. Cool. What else have we got? We've got demolition armor versus our assault armor. Well, our assault armor is better. Yep. And we've got a main implant. That is better than what we've got. Plus 2.3 damage reduction, plus 1 toughness, plus 1 warfare. Yeah, what about this one? And plus 20% for one plus 27 suppression seems quite good. I think that one's still better, so I'm going to equip that. And we've got Purity Seal. Looks like the one that we've got just as good. Signum. Um, plus 2.6% damage against Chaos Demons, and plus 1.1% warp damage. 
Yeah, that seems fair. Neural implant. Um, seems pretty good, but hmm. Don't know that twenty-five suppression is pretty nice. But we've got suppression red generations a lot faster in this one. I'm gonna leave it as is at the moment. Eye implant. Hmm. Hit points. We would never really got that low in hit points. So I'm gonna equip that as well. Cool skills. Well, it looks like they've been going up. Cool. We need to reach Inquisitorial rank seven to unlock. Okay. And there's things here: inoculator capacity, inoculator cooldown. Okay. Okay. So we've got to open them up. Heroic deeds. Um, they are opening up. Okay, cool. So as we kill things and do get um, achievements, this goes up. Cool, cool, cool. Let's close out this. Um, there's the store. Is there anything in the store for sale that is interesting? There are a few pistols. A shield compared to R1 that we have got. And that one is rubbish compared to the one that we have got. What about equipments? Demolition armor, rubbish in comparison to what we've got. Um, that's not that great. Yeah. Nope. Nope. What's that? Inoculator, different kind of inoculator. I don't know. Doesn't look that good. Um, ooh, the suppression regeneration per second seems quite good on that, but uh, maybe not. And this one, four point three percent chance to for free inoculator use. That seems quite good. But uh, no, I'm, I'm sticking with what I've got. Add-ons. Oh, there's a bunch of different stuff here. I'm not going to bore you with going through this, but I might get some add-ons and stuff. Um, but I am going to sell the stuff I've got. Right click to sell. Get rid of all of this stuff. What is this? Oh, crafting stuff. A bolt gun? Bolt gun mark two? Well, I can't, I can't afford that. I can afford that though. I've got 20 grand. I could research bolt gun. Multi-melter? Oncha. Great sword, death com... Oh, I'm going to have to have a play around with some of these things, but I will need a lot of stuff to do it. Should we try and make a bolt gun? Let's try and make a bolt gun. Right, click to buy. Right, cool. We'll come in. Let's flog off the rest of the stuff. Don't think I want... I do want to equip the power axe. That's one-handed, so we can use that instead of the chain sword in future. Cool. So we'll flog the chain sword. Old suppression shield and the last pistol. Like that. Cool. We'll go into our character inventory. Um, like that. So we can flog off that chain sword as well. Cool. And let's go over here and see if we can craft anything. So, oh, what salvageable? Oh, we could have got stuff from it. Ah, uh, crafting. So, neural pen. No, 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 no. How do we... How do we learn the thing that we just bought? Where is it? In our inventory. Misc. Right-click to learn. New blueprint available for crafting. So, we can make a bolt gun with a random enchantment. We need chemical reagent. Okay, like that. Uh-huh. Blessed alloy. Uh-huh. Oh, we're missing one electro fragment. Oh. oh it's a shame. Oh, well, we can't make it, and it would take 60 minutes to make. 3,000 crafting cost. Cool. 
Okay, well, we know how to make things, so we need to really break apart a lot of those things. We could perhaps salvage. Got a 30% chance of getting an electro fragment. Uh, we should maybe have salvaged a lot more than we did rather than selling it off. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, wow. Oh, that looks like it. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. I hope you have enjoyed having a look at this. It's something I'm wanting to play a lot more of. If you guys want to see more of this and learn about some of the crafting things or see more missions or something, please just let me know. Give me a shout. Uh, you know, comment here, tweet, whatever. You know the deal. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed seeing something a little bit different. I've enjoyed it, certainly. And I shall see you the next time. Bye-bye, folks. Have a fun.